What we have is uh, ice dams. The client is complaining about water coming into the building. Uh, what causes ice dams is uh, an excessive amount of snow on the roof that creates a thermal blanket to trap the heat in the building. As the heat from the building escapes, uh, it gets trapped underneath that thermal blanket of snow, uh, melts the bottom layer of snow, turns into water, runs out to the gutter and refreezes into ice. This freezing of ice creates a dam, which then blocks the additional water that's trying to leave. That water then pools behind the dam, freezes and expands up the roof underneath the shingles, creating a sheet of ice under the shingles, which then melts and drops into the building. As you can see here, we got a layer of ice right on top of the roof. As we start to take that off, you're finding the shelf of ice right there on top of the gutter. That's a good probably eight to eight to nine inches thick on this particular house. Uh, we're going to have to break that so that as the additional snow melts, it's able to run out over the gutters. So what we're doing here is we're moving the snow off the bottom two, three feet. The reason why we're doing that is we're trying to prevent the dice stand from rebuilding. So once we got the snow removed, we can then move on to breaking the dams. Now you want to be careful when doing this. You don't want to hit the shingles parallel to the shingle because you end up cracking the shingle. You want to make sure you're going perpendicular. You don't want to use too much force. The last thing you want to use is a screwdriver or an ice pick which is going to either damage the roof or damage the gutter. Now you don't actually have to take the snow and ice out of the gutter because all it's going to do is just refreeze overnight. It has nothing to do with why the dam is being here. You got to break the dam so water can run out over the frozen gutter. It doesn't matter if it goes in it or not. As you start to get a little closer to the shingle, you don't want to use quite so much force because you don't want to damage the roof. What I've done here is I've allowed a path for the snow and water to run up over the gutter, not form a dam anymore. Now the client's going to probably have icicles. That's an unavoidable force of Mother Nature from the thawing and refreezing effect of the warm roof water hitting the cold air. That's it for now. See you next time.